All right, everybody, welcome back to Beans No Ball. Got, I guess, you know, one pretty big last piece of off offseason content. I mean, Christian, we've been talking about this one for a minute. Yeah. It's been lasting long enough. The Brandon Ayuk saga, it's it's one of the most unnecessary uh, trade sagas in recent times. So, I mean, let's just get right into it. I mean, obviously, it, it, it started ever since the Super Bowl, since... Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you get? Like three targets or four, three catches? Four, I think it was four like targets. That. Less than four, five. It was for I sure think less it was than four targets, yeah. three catches. Yeah. Relatively around there. And I mean, you know, obviously, you know, pretty disgruntled, you know, his his friend of all people goes on to, goes on yeah. Instagram talking about, you know, this is why we're leaving San Francisco. So that, that obviously raised a lot of questions. Then obviously, you know, I don't know if you want to take it away. I've, once draft time, it really started picking up. Yeah, so pre-draft, he was already kind of having his like whole debacle with the Niners and that, you know, they already started contract talk. Well, look, first, the first, it was kind of justified pre-draft and post-draft. Look, the Niners, look, they weren't having any contract talks with them. I was kind of getting frustrated, which reasonable, you know, after basically being the number one receiver last season for the 49ers, after, you know, you would hope Debo were to do something, but, you know, we already went over that. Ayuk, you know, everyone was on his side. Like, Ayuk's deserving of the money, what he did for that Niner team, and to get treated like that in the Super Bowl with less targets, really less targets, it would make sense, right? Then post-draft came along, still no talks. Like approaching into the summertime, that's kind of where things start to get a little messy for Ayuk. Already saying that, oh, he's going to miss training camp, this and that. And then I think um, we did make a video for the pre-draft, I think some speculation that he yeah, would want to get a trade by as that well. point, yeah. yeah, by that point, I mean, I mean, but I mean, the whole situation was so out of whack. I mean, yeah. I think it was, well, this was by post-draft mm -hmm. that obviously we see um, he's hanging out with Jaden Daniels so much. It looks uh, like, oh, that was in June, just, yeah. That was in June, yeah, right? You know, yeah. That, that's once the post draft process. I mean, pre draft. I mean, it was it was kind of just rumors. We didn't really hear nothing. Mm -hmm. We knew he was disgruntled, but nothing like really concrete. Then after post draft, what I said with Jaden Daniels. Then yeah, you know, he comes out saying like, oh, you know, I mean, I, I want to be a 49er. Then obviously the news news comes out. He's he's requesting a trade, and then you and know, that everything was just starts. Yes, I believe it was last month like the specifically a month ago. Yeah, yes. yeah since since last month the 16th. July 16th, there he he requested trade. Then the Niners start talking about you know they have no intention to trade him, mm -hmm. and you know the, we we start seeing you know shades of like I think Debo Samuel had something similar a year or two ago, and I mean you know the Niners uh, this this has happened to the Niners in the past. You know they wanna they, they you know they have a kind of I guess a disgruntled yeah. star, but you know uh, they they want to get a deal done. I mean, that was, that was literally the attention of the Niners literally this whole year after the Super Bowl. They didn't they didn't want to trade Ayuk, right? Grass is green, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't want to trade him. That was what everything was going on. Pre-draft, post-draft, right after the Super Bowl, everything. They did not want to trade him. That was the start first. But once he finally becomes in that trade, look, that's where we're finally going to pick it up and say, this month. Look, look, Patriots were the front runners um, on this one. They're, they offered him a $32 million contract. He did not want that offer. And honestly, Thirty-two million. I think that's an overpay for you. I've mentioned it before. He's I a maximum. I mean, yeah, he's a maximum deal, twenty-seven he, million. He turned down twenty-six. Remember from from yeah. the from the Niners. And mm -hmm. I, I believe what what do we say? This is that's what um that's what Devonte is making. Yeah. I mean, he's hey, I, I know I use good, but he's not Devonte. Yeah. He is not Devontae Adams, and 32 million, that is a heavy overpay. Like I said, I mentioned he's a 27, maybe edge, $28 million max receiver. But dude, or turning down $32 million, look, I get it. Like he didn't want to pay with the Patriots because of that quarterback situation. He's kind of being petty, but I mean, I mean, with how this quarterback situation is, you kind of understand that. Yeah. And then the most recent one that literally happened this morning. The Browns were and Niners, they did it, they did agree to send a Mark Cooper a second and a fifth for a you. Are you Wild trade. No. Wild. Bro went, bro went, no. He's just said nah. And I think that's a crazy trade. And Niners would have won that trade by far. And well, well I mean, Mark Cooper. yeah, easily. And we also, obviously, yeah. we also saw Mari Cooper, like, you know, hey, I, I wouldn't have no problem with it, which yeah. obviously, you know, who wouldn't want to be sent to the perennial contender in the 49ers? Exactly. And, I mean, yeah, it's exactly what you're saying. I mean, I think. I, I saw some reports that it's also like a big deal that he doesn't want to play in the cold wet. I think that was one yeah. my, my, one of the I reasons why he didn't want to go to New England. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Cleveland, that's a, that's pretty cold weather. But, you know, you think about that and then and there's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, obviously, is someone exactly. else that, you know, really comes into com uh, and that's, conversation. Uh, that's even colder. Pittsburgh's that's cold weather colder. regardless. Yeah. But, I mean, here's the thing. You know, he wants to play with Mike Tomlin. He likes mm -hmm. he likes the idea of going into, into Pittsburgh. But the Steelers don't have anyone that the 49ers exactly. would want. The, the Patriots, I mean, they had Kendrick Bourne, you know, a fan favorite in San Francisco to begin with. And obviously the Browns had uh, Amari Cooper. I mean, I guess, you know, the Steelers have George Pickens, but they're not going to part ways with him, obviously. So, I mean, this is a, it's it's a tough deal. I mean, it's it's a tough break. And obviously when we look back into, I'm um, just yesterday, uh, a little comment that he decided to make about, 
that, you know, Niners in the media every day, they just need to pick one of the options. That they have two options, got to pick one. But I mean, for being honest, I mean, he makes it seem like it's so cut and dry. I mean, he, he's also, I mean, the Niners are kind of picking the option. Okay, we want to trade you. But he's making it really difficult. Yeah, Ayuk at this point, look, he it's crazy how like how bad he got everyone to kind of turn against them. Because look, like I said, everyone was rooting for you, dude. Like everybody was with the Niners that are being stingy about it now. You're just making the whole situation first for yourself and throwing out comments. I don't want to play in cold weather. I don't want to play with this team because of the quarterback situation. I don't want to play this because um, I don't think know. About they, this. Play in the, they play in a freaking just, dome. Just to like, think, just, just the, the way the way players are getting paid. I mean, just yeah. you got to think, you, you, you got to pick one. You know, you want to play for a contender or do you want to get paid? I mean, CD Lamb, you know, unfortunately, he's not even getting either. But you know, that's beside yeah. the point. I had I had to get that in, you know, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's but, true. It's true. But... I mean, you know, there's reasons why contenders, you know, they spread out the money. Look at Patrick Mahomes. You know, he's taking pay cut out to pay cut. He is underpaid as hell yeah. in this new quarterback market. And three but they're winning to, because he's taking three rings to top it off. And we we see, I mean, a team like I don't know the Jaguars. They're overpaying hella for guys. I mean, they're going to be in a tough situation if we're really yes. going to look at it. So that's in in separate situations. You really got to prioritize. Do you want to contend or do you want to you know be rich? And I mean, it's exactly it's, it's tough. And, I mean, Ayuk has to make a decision. And then going back to the contract, he did decline from the pick, the $32 million deal. There is no way you should be making near Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson is miles ahead of Ayuk. Let, let, let's be real. I mean, who, I'm pretty sure. This would have been just two mil he, under that reported would, deal. We would saw he be, I'm pretty sure he would have been the second highest paid uh, under Jefferson, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because I don't think Hill got a bigger contract after this restructure. If I'm not. I think mistaken. he's at 30. Yeah. He's down to 30. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you would have been the second highest paid receiver in the league. And there are Miles receivers, Miles, uh, excuse me, there are receivers miles better than Ayuk, CD, Amon Ra, Tyreek Hill. Uh, Chase. Uh, I, I get throwing Chase in, in, in that situation as well. There's a lot of other receivers, a lot of great talent ahead of Ayuk. They the, kind of the 32 mil option. That's teams around the league. They're already looking at this like, yeah, no. We're not even going to bother looking at you at this point. He's either going to have to settle with whatever the Niners give him. If he ends up getting a lower contract than what the Patriots give him, that's just the shot on the foot for him. And that's from his pettiness and his ego getting to him. And look, I get it. Players, they want to get paid. But with the way they're approaching situations like this, going out on the media, this and that, and doing just, you know, just some little kid shit, like at this point, Take yeah. whatever the Niners give you, because no other team is going to give you more than 32 mil. And speaking about, you know, taking what the Niners give them, it looks like he might have to, because then obviously new yeah. reports are that the 49ers are opening conversations about a new negotiation for a new extension. So all this for not all this for him to just stay. I mean, exactly. It's, it's like what I just said, you know, you, you, like you got to pick a side, but we're getting tired of this. This is exactly. one of the most unnecessary trade sagas imaginable. We, we, but we, we've been arguing about this all week. And like, yes, you just got, it's it's something you every day with. Like, I mean, know, this we've month. been talking about making this video for, for yeah. a good week now and we thought like, you know yeah. by now maybe this will be over it's still going no. we it's 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 not gonna end it's probably gonna be going into i thought week i thought he might still be a niner i thought he did get traded to the browns because of the tweet but because when of i read this, the whole yeah, thing because of that. Because of the time, but when i read the whole thing he declined this i'm like bro what are you doing like, like I, I and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure cleveland was gonna pay him a, a pretty good bag yeah. too i mean no reports uh -huh. are out officially but mm -hmm. i mean yeah but i mean who knows what happens, but I don't know. Do you have a, a set prediction what you think is going to end up happening? I don't even know. Like, he already complained about the cold weather. Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh and, and the Raiders, they could still be in the Send mix them to here. Carolina, bro. Send them wherever. Send them to the Jets, for all I care. I mean, honestly, if, I, if I'm being honest, I think the Niners are going to have to cut the losses. Because if we're being yeah. honest, do the Niners even want them anymore? Like, I, I know they're opening negotiations, yeah. but do they really want him? Yeah. And like, just the whole locker room is probably in turmoil, too. So, yeah. I would think they're going to have to cut their losses and probably send him to Pittsburgh. That's mm -hmm. probably the most realistic, because, I mean, that's where he wants. That's, yeah. Honestly, like, just give him what he wants, get him out of there, and, you know, get what you can, and, you know, fix fix the locker room for, for what that's worth. But, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just tired of this. I just want to stand. Yeah, I mean... I got no other words for this situation at this point. You know, like like you said, the Niners they either gotta cut their losses or you just gotta literally just give in to what they to what they offer. If not, good luck, bro, because you've you've made these last couple months for yourself and probably this whole league in general with how these teams perceive you now. So realistically, just take take what you can get at this point. Exactly. And obviously, 
whenever this wraps up, we'll obviously have another video that I mean, I'm not going to want to make, but you know, that we're going to have to cover it one last time. So that's going to do it for this annoying trade saga. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope this was of some catch up and information for you guys. Hope you like and subscribe. And before we go, Tomorrow, if anyone is going to be at the Rams-Cowboys games, be sure to look out for us. We will be in attendance. We will be in some outlandish-looking color rush jerseys, so be sure to look out for the, the Rams piss yellow Todd Gurley jersey. Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, we'll see you guys right back soon, hopefully with a nice little vlog about that, about that preseason game.